You ready, Jay? Got it. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I've got Jake here. What's up, guys? Okay, we've got Liam behind the camera. Hello. And uh, we're going to show you guys some cool uh, setup for a takedown. Um, I got to say, this is Jake's move. It's one of his moves, guys. He's got more than just one. But Jake is great at this move. Last year. Yeah. Last year, he just killed so many guys with it. And great setup. So... Go ahead, Jake. Why don't you start out? Go ahead. Right. Show, them, show them what you like. To do. So we're going to be doing a little bit of wrestling today. So first, we're going to start with a right hand club. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit him like, I'm not going to whack him, but I'm going to like hit him with a solid right hand to get his head like a little bit dipped. So I'm going to bam, snap him a little bit. And I'm going to step in with my left leg to dig my underhook so I got him up high. Go ahead, walk around right here, Liam. Keep on. Go ahead. So I club him. Boom. Keep walking. And I step in. Boom. Now I'm up, keep my hip in. Now I'm gonna get my head in between his shoulder and his head. So I'm gonna dip here. Now I'm in the position that I wanna be in. I got a tight underhook right here. And I'm gonna fake my high crotch like this. I'm gonna fake my shot. What, what if you were to do it? Just do that. So if I were to do my high crotch, I'm stepping in. I throw the underhook over my head. I'm gonna change level and finish the top. So that's if the the setup works perfect. I can just throw it over, hit my high crotch, finish. My that's your step. simple finish. Yeah. Simple. Let's do that a couple times so that we can build. Okay. So right hand club, dig under, head between the shoulder and the head, then pull it over, high crotch, finish off the shot. And then how do you just? You don't have to kill me, but okay. finish the high crotch. So club, dig, dip, throw it over, change, round the double. That's a simple finish for that move. And then we can work work on if if the perfect situation doesn't work, I can just throw it over and finish the shot, then I'm gonna work my snap down. So same exact setup. Club the head, dig, step up, dig my head in between the I noticed you, you switch your feet. Yeah, so, so you had your left foot. So left left legs forward digging up. Now I'm gonna now that he can't really like get to my leg because I have my hips here. He's not like he can shoot, he can touch my leg, he's not gonna do anything. Now I'm gonna move my foot that I feel comfortable with shooting with, and I'm gonna get my hand like ready to fire. So now I'm gonna fake touch the leg. Now I pull down with my left arm and go over the head. So that's the first, that's the first setup of like, it doesn't work, I can't reach his leg, or he's ready to pull it back and like not allow me to get my shot. Cause they, they wanna like lower their level to block yeah. you. Yeah, they don't want me to get it on his leg, so. He's, so I'm doing what's called like a down block. Yeah. You're, you're, you're about to get me in a high crotch. So I'm like down blocking, I'm like trying to block you out. And I cover, I'm gonna pull down, as soon as he down blocks, I'm gonna pull down, reach over the head with the chin, and get in my head position. I got a lot of weight on him. It's not, it's not fun to be in that, that front head lock. Yeah. So then we're gonna work on a finish from that position. So I'm gonna do the same setup and work another finish to get it, to finish my shot basically, or get my kick out. So, here my left leg forward, club, dig over the forward, switch, head here, fake, pull down. Now I can either work, come, come on this side, Liam, right here. I'm, I can either come around and work my drag like that, go ahead my kick out. I can either pass this by and shoot another high crotch, or I can let, his head uh, back up, and I redo my high crotch and finish. Awesome. Yeah. Now that's the one that happens the most. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. a lot of guys, once you get me in that front headlock, I don't want to be there. Yeah. And it's a, a modified front headlock. It's like a chin with an underhook. Chin and underhook, yeah. So, so now my reaction when you're here, once you get this kind of position, I, you, you're kind of pulling me down like a snap down, right? Yeah. So I want to like get my head out and get this position done. I want to get out of it. So I actually expose myself. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting because you had you had this position originally. Yeah, yeah. You had you had this position. You faked the high crotch. I was afraid of it. I wanted to defend. I got caught here. Now I want to get out of this, and you go right back to the original move, and it's. It's just uh, uh, awesome. It's like, yeah, it's like you go high, okay, or excuse me, you go low, 
and that I don't want to, I don't want to give it to you. So I drop down and then after that you get on top of me, I pull out and then you just drop right back down underneath. And it's, yeah. it just, you killed so many guys with that easy setup. Um, something that I want people to see is the motion of the way you pull the underhook. Yeah. So can you talk about that? So when I club and dig him, I'm gonna come here, stay in normal position. Now when I fake my high crotch, this hand's gone. Like this is my decoy basically. I'm gonna fake with this. Now I'm gonna use this to pull him down and grab his chin with my right hand. Now I'm in the position I want. Now in wrestling, he's gonna say, I'm not comfortable here, I want out. He's gonna fight the hand, try to get out. Now, sets up the shot. Boom, that's my shot. So you can get to like really easy if you're just able to fake him out with the right moves to make him react. So if you make him react, oh shoot, he's going for my leg, he comes down. Then he goes, I want to get out, comes up, leaves the leg open. So, that's sweet. There's your move Amazing there. setup. Now I want to see some fast ones with Liam okay. so that they can see how it looks in fast motion. When you see it in fast motion, then you'll go, oh, I see what he's doing, yeah. how it all hooks together. Yeah. So Liam, you got to do your best. Go ahead. Let's. All right. So Let's see if we can same same thing. We're just gonna speed up a little bit. So I'm here. I'm gonna club him and dig. Step back. Switch my stance. Fake front headlock. He wants to get up. Shoot again. Okay. So I'm gonna club dig. I'm up here. He's trying to pull his overhook down because he doesn't like being hoisted up like this. Snap. I mean, sorry. I'm here. Now fake reacts. Pull. Now he doesn't want this. Gets out. Shot so now good. We're gonna go quick. So just react as best you can, Liam. Give him a good reaction. Nice. One more time. Just just try to pretend like you're wrestling, Liam. That way you're like you're gonna give good reactions. Just wrestle it. Nice. Let's get a few more. Alright. Stay nice and loose. Be a little tight, Liam, like you want to defend. Defend. That's it. Good. I want to get my speed. Yeah. Club him hard. Set up that dig. You know, something you do really well is you get your hips underneath on your high crotches. Yeah, so oh. another thing is, is when I'm in this position, my overhook is strong, so I'm not worried about like or, I'm gonna lose it. You mean your your underhook? Oh, my underhook, sorry. Yeah. I'm not worried about my underhook because I know I'm not gonna lose it. So I'm faking. He says back. When I get here, what I'm gonna do is as soon as he gets up, I'm switching with him. So he's like, you come down real quick. Stay here. He's just gonna come up. I'm gonna let him up, and we're gonna switch. He was here. We're just gonna switch like that. So now I'm here. I'm gonna go. Get my space, he comes up. Now I'm gonna pull him in with this. Boom. Then I turn my angle, switch my hands, and run the double leg. Like that. Nice. Now I know because we have so many jujitsu uh, people that, that follow this channel, um, they're always, everybody says it, it's inevitable. In the comment section, I'm gonna get, what if he guillotines you? What if he grabs your neck and chokes you? So this is a problem for when there's submissions. And I know Jake, you don't do that much jujitsu anymore like you did when you were younger, but just keep your head up in good position. Yeah. Liam, go ahead and grab his neck on the next one. So, so I'm in this position again, take my shot, hold for a headlock. He comes up, I'm gonna keep my head up. I'm not gonna let him get his grip. And even if he does get his grip, yeah, I'm gonna still hips in. If, he, if I hip in, he's not gonna be able to like pull guard and like choke me. I'm just gonna switch off. Head up, head up, head up. Yeah. Running the side control. Exactly. I'm not change anymore. I'm good. Or even lift him. Yeah. Give me a give me a lift. Okay. Like so you're holding on to that, especially when a guy goes guillotine, one of the issues, he goes to your neck, you just pop your hips, stand up and pop. And now he, he you can swing yeah, him out. Side okay. Control. That's gonna be a hard landing when you can do it. Obviously, I'm not saying that you should yeah. slam your partner in yeah. training, but you know, that's something that, uh, that, that could happen in a real situation. And then the other comment that I'm always going to get is, Jake, well, you put your knees down when you shoot. I can't put my knees down. You know, like, what if we're on the street? Uh -huh. So 
you can do this in a little bit of a high. In fact, you're one of the guys that likes to not shoot without yeah. touching your knee. Yeah. Can you show it like that? Yeah. So basically, if I can snap his head down, even if I don't, like I'm a turn. Even if I don't get the underhook, it's still fine as long as I, as long as I'm not just chilling like this. Because if I if he pops his head up, I can't just shoot my high crotch. So if I have either either an underhook or even just a tricep tie, if he just pops his head out, I'm gonna blast through him. But remember, I'm gonna I don't have to take my knee. I'm just gonna step in, throw it over, and I'm gonna follow through. My knee never hits the ground. I'm just in position. So if I even if I take a normal shot, a normal high crotch. I'm just gonna step in. Normally when you take a shot, you're gonna go through a little bit short. Like I'm not gonna reach my foot as deep, but if I don't wanna touch my knee, he pops his head up, I'm stepping deep. Cover through, change off, and lose. Nice. You know, I, I have an idea for these people because they always have this problem, Jake. They, they, they struggle with it. Let, let's show them an outside step, high crotch. You know how you do like a duck? Yeah. And, and use the underhook and okay. just do an outside step. That way, they never have to worry about touching their knees. Okay. Go ahead, try that. So, try that real quick. So, so same, starting, for everything the same, though. Club, boom, dig. boom. Here. So, yeah. Take, just react, pull them down. I let them up. Yeah, you see that, guys? It's just a simple outside step, and he can do the same movement without ever going to his knees. And, and you know, like out on the street, if you guys did get a guy in a front headlock, Liam, I need you to be super tough on me, okay? Be tough for me. Get him in, get him in that same chin and front headlock. All right, so now, just imagine you guys are out on concrete, okay? Now, Liam, just kind of like, just lift your head all the way up. Like, yeah, like, see how he's trying to, no, no, Jake, you still got his head though, okay. but you, I want that energy. You see that? He's trying, you, Jake doesn't need to even get anywhere near the ground. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Like, now look at how that step looks. When the guy's violently trying to pull up, that's all it is. And then you can get in and lift the guy. Yeah. Try it again. Okay. And lift him. Give me a good lift. He's pulling up. Boom. Lift. Good. And then, obviously, guys, out on the street, if you don't want to go to the ground, yeah. you can just swing him out. Drop him on his back, slam him on his back, and yeah. you're done. Yeah. So, cool. All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this setup by Jake and Liam. Thank you for assisting. Um, you guys can uh, say goodbye and let everybody know what they should be doing. Like ahead, the Jake. video, subscribe, donate on Patreon. <laughs> Give this man some uh, good comments. He works hard and uh, we wouldn't be here without him. So just let him know that you guys love him. So How long have you been wrestling now, Jake? Um, five years. Five I was, years? I was 12. So, yeah. You were 12? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, you were just a... Like, right there. You're it was like right here, yeah. Right there. Right there. Yeah, that's 12. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.